I already messed up twice, and you know what they say, third time's a charm. So I posted six videos on a faceless channel, and this is what happened. I promised myself not to give up, even if I would go broke. I already had a monetized channel for my DIY days, so I just used that. That was the first mistake. The channel was getting consistent views and had an audience, so switching niches would ruin the algorithm. I did it anyway. At the time, I wanted a shortcut to start earning quickly, which is why I started using that channel. I ended up turning it into an Elon Musk channel. That's the second mistake. Turns out everyone is already in the Elon Musk niche, and I wasn't even putting original content. I had my team basically just rewrite popular scripts and put a little spin on them, but it wasn't really getting me anywhere. I tested different topics from Pyphone to Cybertruck updates to Google headquarters tour, and they all flopped. Nothing really worked. I had a few videos get over a thousand views, but nothing really went viral. So I ended up switching to the space niche because I saw a bunch of other channels doing really well, and that was the third mistake. I don't know anything about space, and I'm not interested in it either. So coming up with ideas was just using topics that already worked. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've seen videos blow up, but the difference is that their videos were better. They had some sort of different angle, something that differentiated them. And YouTube is fair, so if your video is good, you're gonna get views but my videos weren't very good. And then I did the same thing on another channel about personal development, and then after two months and 46 videos, I stopped. I continued my space channel, but after nearly six months, 103 videos, 109 shorts, I stopped that too. I wasn't gonna make the same mistakes again, so on November 30th, I started a new channel. I love watching Sunny V2. I love Internet Anarchist. I love Patrick CC. So I chose a niche I'm genuinely interested in. But I wanted to take a different approach and do everything myself, at least at first. Since I knew I could only make one video a week, I had to choose my topics very carefully. The first topic I thought of seemed out of reach, so I scrapped that idea. For now. I began my first script, but I didn't know where to start. I ended up watching several podcasts, the YouTubers' videos, and took notes, which ended up being nearly 9 pages. This took a couple days, and then the real work began. I told myself I suck on writing, I hate making essays, and yet here I am doing the thing that I'm bad at. Eventually, I got out of that mentality, I stopped thinking negatively, and I started writing. And after 3 weeks, I finished the script. After 2 days, I edited the video. And on December 29th, at 10pm, I posted the first video. First day zero views. Second day, three. Third day, six. Fourth day, 95. Then 548. Then 1,000. 2,000. 3,000. 5,000. Then on January 28th, 30 days later, it hit 10,000 views. By the end of the month, it hit 12,276 views, plus 114 subscribers. December 30th, I posted my second video. That one took me a day to do everything. By the end of January, it hit 301 views, plus 8 subscribers. January 8th, I posted my third video. This time, I had a freelancer edit the video and the ones to follow. By the end of the month, it hit 315 views, plus 4 subscribers. January 13th, I posted my fourth video. The script took a week to do. By the end of the month, it hit 608 views, plus 12 subscribers. January 21st, I posted my fifth video. The script took a week to do. By the end of the month, it hit 8,973 views plus 175 subscribers. January 28th, I posted my sixth video. I went back to my first idea that I scrapped and I wrote the script in a week. And by the end of the month, it hit 115,098 views plus 713 subscribers. So in the end, I realized there's no real secret. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of work and dedication, and for each and every script that I wrote, minus like two of them because I did in a day, I poured my heart out into it, I researched it thoroughly, I wanted to go ahead and make it as accurate, as informational as possible. I literally sat through three different podcasts, I took notes, 9 pages, 10 pages, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever pages it took, I watched a bunch of different videos from the creator, I went ahead and looked through a bunch of different articles, I took little notes from each one of those sections, I went ahead and tied everything together, I looked back of each of the podcasts, because each podcast says like different things, sometimes things are out of order, sometimes one podcast says more information, sometimes the other says less information, so you gotta go ahead and tie everything in and then just key it in together. The reason I think my video went viral is because there were only two other competitors that were doing it and it weren't even my competitors that were doing it. It was just random people that went ahead and just did the topic. And so I thought I can go ahead and execute it. I thought I can go ahead and do it better and bring out other points. And people actually genuinely liked the video. They resonated with it. And some of them even commented like, oh, this looks, I thought this video was going to be like a meme or something, but it ended up being an actually well thought out thing. And of course, there's always going to be two sides in the comments for it. Like some people are going to like it, some people are going to hate it. And I didn't want to get too in-depth with that topic because I didn't know 
enough about it to research even more because it had to do with politics. Whenever somebody says, oh, what's the best niche to choose? There is no best niche. There's a bunch of different niches to choose from. And if you're interested in something, then it's probably better to go ahead and go that niche. Of course, you don't always have to go that route, but if you know more than the average person on that niche, or if you're willing to do the work on that niche, then do that niche. Because when I was doing the Elon Musk niche, when I was doing the space technology niche, that wasn't something I was genuinely interested in. I didn't want to go ahead and research any of that stuff. I just wanted to go ahead and outsource and hire it. And could it have worked? Yeah, it probably could have worked. I probably could have redone that channel and rebranded it, start over again, and made it work. I could have had better topics ideas. I was thinking of different topics for the space niche, and I thought they were actually really good, but I didn't go ahead and do them. I didn't execute them because I genuinely didn't want to be in the space niche. But I got really positive feedback, and when I start seeing comments that like I should have more subscribers, I should have more reviews, I'm underrated, that gives me the proof of concept that doing these type of videos are going to work. And it wasn't just on that video that I got those comments. I also got that on my first video. One of the things that really stood out that really made my day was when somebody said something like about being the next Sunny V2, all I have to do is get a slightly better mic. So all the voiceovers were done by me. I used this microphone over here. All the script writing was done by me. There was only one script that I had help on and that was that last video that went viral. I used ChatGPT only for the outline. I wrote my video title and I said, please make an outline for this video and it gave me like five different chapter sections I could talk about. I took about two or three of those sections and then I went ahead and researched it myself and did those. So that was the only part of the AI I did. Now as far as thumbnails, I did all the thumbnails myself but eventually I ended up outsourcing it to somebody else because I figured they can make better thumbnails because at the time I had like two or three percent click through rate and I thought somebody else could do better. I ended up paying about eight bucks on Upwork for somebody to go ahead and do all my thumbnails except my last one because I liked that one and I kept it. For video editing, I used my old video editor. I paid him somewhere between 20 to $30 per video. And I told him in the future, I plan on increasing the budget too, just because I know the video quality that I'm looking for later on is gonna go ahead and be different. But here's the thing, he didn't go ahead and do the whole video. I also did some of the video too, because when I was trying to incorporate music in it, that was the hardest part for him to find the right music to do it, because there was times where it just wasn't appropriate. And so whenever he sent me back the footage, I had him do some revisions. He sent it back to me, it was fine. It needed a little bit more revisions, but I just worked on it myself. I added a little bit more things to it. I stretched out certain parts that I thought uh, would add for a little bit more of cinematic effect. And my plan for the future is to go ahead and automate it a little bit more. The only thing I'm not gonna automate is my voice. I like talking about it and then just doing it. Even though at first I didn't like making any of these voiceovers, I figured, hey, this actually isn't so bad. I used to do everything sentence by sentence, take a breath, and it, it was just so tiring. But at this point, I went ahead and changed it up a bit and it sounds a lot better. As far as the scripts go, I'm doing them myself, but I'm also looking for somebody else to go ahead and do them. I had one person reach out to me. I'm currently working with him to go ahead and try to perfect it. And then I have somebody else on Upwork that I'm also trying to work with. So in the end, this channel isn't gonna be fully automated. That's not the goal. The goal is to automate as much as the process as possible. Instead of me doing the whole script in around a week, if somebody else does it and then I take a day to go ahead and make any adjustments, that saves me a lot more time. And with that time, I can go ahead and work on something else later on too. And something I'm working on now too is working on the Amazon Influencer Program. And I've had pretty decent results this past week. But once 30 days is up, I'm going to go ahead and share it. So if you're interested in doing that, make sure to click this video. And also, if you're interested in seeing what this channel is, it's not too hard to find it. I made it pretty easy for my subscribers to find. So if you find the video, when you find the video, please let me know what you think of it. And until next time, bye.